We're here today with this collection of pictures by Herbert Olivier and I'm delighted to have James Larson, the artist's great-grandson, with me. So James, tell me about growing up at Early Gardens. Well, it was wonderful. It was an amazing house, a great light flooding in through the windows and sort of air of arty eccentricity. All the pictures in our collection really decorated the walls and really gave a window into this incredible life. Looking at the Garlands of Love, mm. um, a huge canvas. Mm. It was exhibited in 1918. I thought, was this a great symbol of peace and love and hope after the Great War? It's certainly a very joyous picture, mm. but very much it's an allegorical work. We have other grand allegorical pictures in the sale a wonderful Venus and Adonis, mm. um, and the, the sitters in that are family members as well. Well, aren't they? So the, One of them is. the man is the artist brother uh, who happened to be Laurence Olivier's father. And then the third allegorical picture is Death and the Maiden. If one is into interpreting the elements of a picture, that's fertile ground. My gosh, the different plants, the fact that, that the maiden is barefoot walking into brambles, the old man's beard, you could analyse it for weeks. What I find fascinating is this, this series of pictures he painted of Kew Gardens. Yes, and many of which feature a, a bonneted lady who you can't see the face, but it's almost certainly his wife because she wore a lot of bonnets. So many of the pictures in the collection are of Asolo, and mm -hmm. in particular the explorer and travel writer Freya Stark's House and Garden. So many of the pictures are populated with really fabulous classical statuary, which makes these little bucolic images. Mm. Frere introduced Herbert to La Mortola, uh, which he fell in love with. Most of his most celebrated pictures are portraits that are in private collections or in major museum collections, but this is very different. This is about as personal as it gets and is, is an encapsulation of, of the man and his spirit. Mm. 